So we're off. We're headed for Fort Leonard Wood. Yep. Staying on post is the first time we've stayed there because they got yeah. a brand new campground. In 2020. Yeah, we used to stay off post over there. But yeah. uh, either way, we're going to see Uranus. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Well, we made it to Fort Leonard Wood from Branson, and mm. Leslie is getting a salad ready for dinner today. Yep. I'm gonna take you outside, and I'm gonna show you why Fort Leonard Wood Campground needs to do a little better. Well, the first thing is, and it's probably not Fort Leonard Wood Campground's fault, but the GPS stops you about a half mile up the road and says you're there, but you're not there. So we came into the campground first. We paid a couple of weeks ago, and we're already paid up in full, but they didn't give us a site assignment. So we came in here thinking there was going to be a, a camp post or something. There's no camp post here. So the sign over here tells you to go to the Outdoor Recreation Center. So we go to the Outdoor Recreation Center and they tell us, oh, you're already paid. You're good. Go back to the campground. We're like, we don't know what site to go to. Now, had they just sent us an email telling us what site to go to, we wouldn't have had to go to the Outdoor Recreation Center. So we came, we took our rig all the way over there and it's like, it's pretty tight back there. So it was hard to navigate through there. And she's like, oh, I don't know why you brought your RV here. Because we didn't know what site we we're going to go to. So anyway, she tells us, because we're traveling with Jerry and Teresa, that's their rig over there. I'll explain that in a second. They said, you're going to site four and five. So we come back over to the campground. Well, let me show you site four and five. Jerry and Teresa were supposed to have site four right here. And we're supposed to have Site 5 right here. Now you tell me if it looks like Site 5 is going anywhere anytime soon. Now, so we pull in and they say, oh, okay, well you, now you're going to be in Site 10. Jerry and Teresa are going to be in Site 2. So we're not beside each other. It's not, it's not a big deal because it's a small campground we're right here. But Site 9 is open. If Site 9 stays open the whole time, that's going to be pretty frustrating because Jerry and Teresa could have been right here. But here is the good part. The good part is, look how big and flat these spots are. So they are good, nice spots. They just built this. So four years ago when we came here, they didn't have this campground here. That's why we didn't stay on Fort Leonard Wood. We stayed off, off post. But they just built this. So why wouldn't they design it a little better? And what I mean by that is, the pull-throughs are great when you're pulling in, but when it comes time to leave, when it comes time to leave, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little tight. This road is pretty narrow. And it's not a problem now, but it will be in a few years. These big trees, these are, these are oak trees that they're growing right here. Those are gonna be big oak trees. So when that big oak tree gets here and you try to turn your big rig out of here, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tight. So nice sight. We're only here for three days, but Fort Leonard Wood. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> this is what we do once we get to a new spot. We gotta take Scout out, see if he approves of the area. He's gotta do a little recon, make sure it's safe. What do you think, buddy? Is it a good spot? Is it good? He's like, I can see my house. I want to go back in it. <laughs> Not much grass here. Not a lot of grass. Dry. Weeds and dirt. Scout has uh, buried himself in the grass. Can't even see him. Very good camouflage. Yeah. Where are you, buddy? There he is. There he is. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Hey, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> You're silly. I'm a jungle lizard. Now. You're a li jungle lizard? <laughs> Hiding in the jungle? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we are back! We're back, baby. How long has it been since we've been in Uranus? Four years. It's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and I don't know how much has changed. We haven't gone in yet, but I'm sure that they've done some upgrades. Yeah. It's always good to 
keep your anus fresh, fresh. and new. <laughs> and we brought friends for the first time. Yeah. You, so we got to show them around Uranus. Yeah, you, you never want to be exploring Uranus on your own. No. It's more fun with friends. It's always more fun with friends. <laughs> Last time we were here, you were able to dance up there on the stage, or get up on the stage and dance. Now they have like animatronic band up there. And it's all caged off, so you can't go up there. But I've been up there and I've danced. They still have the world's largest belt buckle here in Uranus. And uh, it's amazing that they can fit a belt buckle that size in Uranus. Well, they now have tattoos in Uranus. And uh, that sounds very painful. Coming soon, they're having some escape rooms built here. So uh, in the near future, you can attempt to Escape your anus. All right, we're going in the jail now. It wasn't open last time, but uh, it's gonna be cool. Keeping your anus safe and protected. <laughs> this is cool. You can get your bug shot taken over here. You could be wanted on a wanted poster. There's a jail over here. Jerry's in jail. No <laughs> my sorrow. Well, they have ice cream here in Uranus. Chocolate mostly, probably. <laughs> but uh, apparently one lick of Uranus and you'll go nuts. All right, brace yourself. We are about to enter Uranus. Oh. <laughs> you have to push on Uranus. Don't pull on it. It even says push. Thank you. The general store is actually quite impressive. There's a lots of stuff in here to see. Uh, open old old style candy where you can pick up. Of course, they have a bunch of novelty stuff. They have fudge. They'll, they'll pack your fudge for you here in Uranus. Uh, every time you walk in the door, welcome to Uranus. So they're very welcoming here in Uranus also. Yeah. Have a happy little hair day. No joke. I look like that in the morning. She really I does. Do. My hair is up and out. <laughs> hey, are you getting a shirt? Yes. What shirt are you getting? I don't know because they're all good. All right, we'll we'll get some shirts. There are some really good ones. We won't reveal it until we get back to the trailer, <laughs> but stay tuned. We'll we show you which shirt. which shirt we get. Uranus is much better than your attraction. Your attraction stinks compared to Uranus. Uranus is always going to be the best attraction on Route 66. We're going to make Uranus great again. Uranus is going to be huge. It's going to be huge, I tell you. If you haven't been out to Uranus yet, it's worth the visit and uh, you'll probably see something new because Uranus is always expanding. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thanks for picking Uranus. Thank you. <laughs> Uranus has changed a lot. Yes, Uranus has gotten more exciting. <laughs> hey, I'm out to do a little putt putt here at the Putt Pirates Uranus mini golf course. Yes. <laughs> can't pass up your opportunity yeah. to sink a couple balls in Uranus. Yes. <laughs> You've been dying to do this. <laughs> Anytime you can say balls and Uranus in the same sentence and not get in trouble, you have to take advantage. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it's going to be cute though. I it think. is going to be cool. Brand new. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to predict when someone's going to get a hole in one. Oh. Uh, wow. Yeah. Somebody I'm, is even going to get one? I'm going to film each one of us one time. Just one time and see if I can predict, see if I can capture a hole in one. Okay. But if I miss it, then I miss it. Alrighty. See how I do it predicting. There's hardly anybody here, man. Uranus, Uranus is wide open. Alright, this is it. This is the one I'm predicting for Leslie. Oh no, Hole in one. Hole in one. I didn't hit it hard enough. Oh, I was wrong. I was terribly wrong. Predicting my own hole in one here. I don't say. No. Ah, uh, just nope. get outside. At most putt putt golf courses, this is called a fountain. But here at the Uranus putt putt golf course, I think this is a bidet. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is my prediction for Jerry's hole in one. Can he make it? No one's gotten a hole in one at all yet, by the way, on any hole. 
and we're on hole 13. See how Jerry stacks up to the competition. Oh, not enough ass on that ball. Not enough ass. Here's my hole in one prediction for Teresa, hole 15. Last chance. Come on. Oh, it was close. Well, congratulations. Thank you. you are the queen of Uranus. I am the queen of Uranus. <laughs> Leslie won. Yeah. Teresa came in second. It was, it was, we were all close, though. Yeah, I was third and Jerry was that. But yeah. we were all within. Two the, putts. The, the winner and the loot and the last place was within five putts of yeah. each other. And there was a hole in one. It was. It was on the hole that I predicted for Teresa, but, it was but Jerry pretty. got it. Yeah. So he got the only hole in one, but he lost the worst. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a good thing he got the hole in one. It would have been worse. Yeah. So it was fun. It was fun. It's fun to play in Uranus. <laughs> we got our Uranus shirts. Yes. <laughs> I went tank top. Yeah. The fudge. You got the fudge factory. Right? I got the fudge factory. The best fudge comes from Uranus. Yeah. And I got the Uranus brake repair t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Cause you never want to leave skid marks around Uranus. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you don't. Make sure the old brakes are working. Ski! <laughs> <laughs> the sound effects are not necessary, Look, okay. When I did it though, you were picturing a skid mark, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. So from here, we're headed to St. Louis. Yes. Gateway to the West. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've never been. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. You never have been I've to St. Louis. I've never been to St. Louis. We're going to do some fun stuff in St. Louis. Yeah. We're not going to tell you what they are yet. <laughs> you just have to wait and see. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.